<laughs> Already we're having so much fun in the kitchen out here. Let me tell you why, because the day in the kitchen, it's all about indulgence with a twist and of course our beautiful African gold citrus olive oil cake. Ooh. Yes, you heard it correctly. How good does that sound? It is the perfect dessert to make for any occasion while getting, listen to this, a lovely dose of vitamin C. How would you ever have thought that you get a little bit of health out of a cake? Well, myself and the G-Man are going to show you exactly how it's done. G, you ready for this one? Good effort. Good effort trying to sell this as a healthy <laughs> <laughs> Is this such a thing yeah. as a healthy cake? It's got some nutrients in it. it, it no, does, it really it does. does. Like most food, it does have some kind of nutrient <laughs> value. Now, this is all about the decadence and the brilliance and the ease with which you can create as well, which yeah. is kind of a prerequisite for you and I, I think, in the kitchen. Um, so we're going to create, first of all, obviously, our beautiful cake that's got a lovely citrus vibe. So you want to get cracking. Yes. Um, and I love the fact that we're using olive oil. I've tried to in include in so many areas of our yeah. diet because of its anti-inflammatory properties. Yes. I mean, I've told you that before, that if you have a regular dose of olive oil during the day, it's uh, equivalent to taking ibuprofen. And no, it really is, and it's a natural of form effect. of it as well. You're 100% right, man. It's like a wonder food and a superfood at that. So incorporating into this dish is just exceptional because, like you said, it's not necessarily a healthy cake, but there's definitely nutrition boxes being ticked here. That is sure. for sure. And let me talk to you about the African gold extra virgin mm. olive oil, especially because, like we're talking about right now, it's perfectly balanced. It's got this medium intensity. It's an extra virgin olive oil with a fresh, green, aromatic fruitiness to it. And it's got kind of like a distinct pepperiness to it as well. Now, it's perfect for finishing over meats, veg, pasta, bread, and salad. And like you're seeing right now, you can also incorporate it into a cake. Now, every blissful batch of locally produced African gold extra virgin olive oil is pressed with love and mm. cured to perfection. And you're going to see how much of that love gets into the skin. Well, I've, I've started eating it as a, a food group, more than just an additive. Yeah. You know, literally, you put it over a bit of kale um, with a, a soft-boiled egg in the morning. Absolute magic. Well, now we're talking, stuff. man. Now we're talking. Um, loving it. Okay, so where are you in our batch All right, so process? I've just started with some of the dry ingredients. No, well, sorry, the wet ingredients. I had some sugar, um, some vanilla paste this time. Mm. You could possibly use vanilla essence. Oh, that's but what I paste. can smell. That's a yeah, whack of vanilla. Yeah, it's eh? a whack of vanilla. But you're going to see the vanilla and the citrus combines together. But I think it's the olive oil that kind of blends all this flavor, gives it that perfect balance. And oh, if you make this at home, you're going to absolutely love it. So done with the first part of my wet ingredients. Then I'm going to take some orange peels. Mm. Uh, uh, we've got some orange juice. That's obviously where the citrus is coming through. And then on top of that, we just got some plain yogurt that we're going to mix together. And that will kind of complete our wet ingredient list. And then we can move over to the dry stuff. So on the dry side of things, we've got some uh, flour, some baking powder. We've got bicarb as well. So this is all going to help it rise. And then a little bit of salt for balance. And I've just uh, finished mixing up the wet. So the wet's now going to go with the dry. And those are all going to come together quite beautifully beautifully to make that sort of doughy cake mixture. And like you were mentioning earlier, G, if you don't necessarily have the raw ingredients for yeah. the cake, you can always get like a cake mix. A pre-mix. Yeah. I mean, it, it'll a little come bit easier with the bicarb yourself. and the baking soda and all those oh, things. Yeah. So it just kind of, you know, takes the guesswork or the, the demystifies that part of the baking yeah. process. Um, but yeah, you want quite a neutral flavor profile so that the cake itself, I'm guessing, doesn't overpower all of yes. the other citrusy flavors. And, the, and, and one note, sorry, G, before we get into this, I know you must be careful when you're folding over this mix especially because you could get it to a point where it becomes like a chunky cake. Mm. So really be careful with this step, especially because light, you want yeah. that smooth velvetiness, especially when you're getting all those citrusy flavors coming through. But what's happening on your side, I love man? love it, man. So we're going to ramp up the citrusy yeah. flavors big time. So we've got our cream here. We're going to add our icing sugar to that and start mixing her through. Nice. Man's and dual then, wielding there, I like it. I know, I've got multiple weapons. <laughs> I love it. And then we're going to continue that vanilla thread right the way through. Let's ramp you up a little bit. Nice. While you're working that through, I must yeah. just also mention, once my mix has been put into the baking tray, 180 for about 30 minutes, what you can apparently do afterwards if you want to create some extra moisture, you actually poke some holes in the top of the cake and you lightly just brush some olive oil over there. That kind of helps to absorb some of that moisture. You get a oh, delicate wow. taste in your yeah. mouth. Think about that and it's really cool. Obviously, again, using the African olive pride in a unique way. All right, so I probably could have whipped this to a slightly stiffer, whoopsie, slightly stiffer peak, but you get the vibe. And then this is where you can get creative and get artistic. Nice. You're going to be covering it with your cream icing layer. Remember, this is going to set because it's got, obviously, the icing sugar in it. And then, just so you've got the, the kind of vibe here, oh, what we're going picture. to do, I'm creating for the gram all over the table <laughs> here as well. Um, but just 
nice healthy layer and then you're going to take oh, your yes. curd you're going to put a blob on and then you've seen us do this a number of times before you're just going to oh, marble yeah. Fancy it in now and ah, just look how beautiful that looks arrived. and then just repeat cover the whole beautiful thing and then you finish it off with some dehydrated Whew, orange slices, ta-da! Beautiful stuff, Espresso shot.com. If you want this recipe, mm. G has knocked it out the park, and of course, it is something that you definitely want to get your hands on. It tastes so good. We're using that beautiful <laughs> African olive pride blend, blend into this. It's balanced like no other. Hey, that was pretty well done, man. Hey, nice job. Not so bad. Good job, bro. In seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs>